Hey guys, it's Dollar Dr. Jennifer. I'm going live a little bit early because I kind of just need, I have a lot to do today and I needed to get this over with. So here we are for another What Sold Sunday live because as you know, I don't want to edit it. <laughs> so um, a lot of things to go over today. I had some good sales actually. I had a couple good days and I also finally got uh, accepted to Whatnot. So my first Whatnot auction. Hey, everyone. Uh, Janet, Bryn, Lena, Jennifer, everyone's here today. Yay. <laughs> <clears throat> so my first Whatnot auction is going to be tomorrow night at 9 p.m. It's t-shirts. I don't know if you can see my rack back here. That's all of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's taken a lot more time to set up than I thought. So I was up really late last night um, putting stuff in. I still got a couple more to do. I've got like this crazy sheet that I'm trying to keep organized. We'll see how that continues to go. But um, I did want to do my, oh yeah, my time zone is Eastern time. I'm on the East Coast. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. So 9 p.m. Monday night, East Coast. <laughs> yeah, so I waited over four months. And I finally sent them an email like, yo, I need to know one way or the other at this point. Because I was tired of dealing with it. So they finally got me signed up on my wrong account. So my whatnot is... The same as this channel, Dollar Dr. Jennifer. So um, I accidentally made a second account. That's Dollar Dr. Jen. Ignore that account. <laughs> but that's the account they made active. And I was like, so then I had to go through the whole thing with like switching over accounts. But luckily it, it wasn't too, too bad. They were pretty responsive. So I will give them that. So I'm very excited. I have two sale set up for next week. My first sale is teas and tanks. And I'm doing that because the shipping is going to be a lot less because everything is pretty lightweight, except for a couple items. And then Friday, fingers crossed that I get everything done. Friday, I'm going to be doing a new with tag sale. So everything I sell that day will be new with tags. It'll be women's kids, accessories, Anything that is new with tags is game for that sale. I have to get a little organized still though for that one as well. But I'm really excited and I'm excited to see how it goes. Um, thank you, Jennifer, for your, your input this morning on my, my craziness of deciding to do like 70 or 80 items in my first sale. <laughs> uh, we'll see how that goes. I may have to quit at some point. <laughs> but um, I'm really excited. But is what sold the last two weeks on Poshmark. Yeah, I've only had Poshmark sales. Not like I ever really have eBay or Mercari sales, but um, I had a couple good ones. And of course, they came towards the end of the week, uh, which I needed because I was having, I had a really long week last week. I know some of you already know, I worked four days, which I've only really been working one day a week. So it was a full week for me. <laughs> and I was working far from home. So like the clinic, one clinic was like over an hour and a half with traffic and stuff. Um, and so I ended up staying in a hotel Thursday to Friday night with Remy because just the driving and stuff was just exhausting. So it was a long, so I'm just happy that I'm here. I made it. I didn't end up in the hospital <laughs> and I'm doing my what sold video. <laughs> So, uh, let us start the what sold mayhem because our first, hey, be carried away. Thanks for joining. We're just starting. So, you got here just in time. Um, I am starting on whatnot tomorrow. So, it's going to be a fun week ahead. Our first sale was this super fun neon orange strappy bikini one piece bathing suit. It was very confusing until you got it on a mannequin because there's just so many straps and stuff everywhere. 
Um, it sold for $13. It was unbranded. So I was pretty happy with that. And I ended up making $7.37 on it, but it did take a year and two months to sell. So that was one I was pretty happy to get rid of. But it had a lot of, um, let's see, there was a lot of straps. There was a lot of stuff going on. And it was a one piece, but it wasn't a one piece at the same time. So... I just thought it was kind of fun looking when I when I found it initially. The cops, you no, know, fire engine's coming. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. <laughs> All right. And yes, yeah, I know um, I will definitely do that so that people can see the items that they want to see. So... Uh, next was actually from my have it do i have it here uh from my friend i bought a bunch of dog clothes from and i'm still i don't think i'm still in the green on that one but this is a glamour to the bone pink and green camo dog dress and it says i do what i want um i initially put in uh 25 for a whole bag of dog stuff and um i've sold enough now to wear I'm still in the hole about $11.62. So wasn't the best pickup probably, but they are slowly selling and they do have, um, they do have a lot of like interest. So they hopefully will just keep slowly selling and I'll make my money back. But that did take a couple months to sell. It is really cute though. <laughs> Yeah, I've been, actually, I've put in my application, like, before it got crazy, like, before everyone was doing it, and then they never got back to me, so then I kind of redid everything, and then I got on, so, I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to do it before it was cool. If you saw my last video this week, you saw this. This was a Kevin's Toucan Bird, Toucan, two toucan toucan bird um uh, hawaiian crop cotton tropical leaf floral button down shirt um size medium it sold for 16 dollars. i think it was on an offer uh yeah i had it listed a little bit higher but i figured it sold in less than a week of me listing it i would take a little bit less money for it so i am making 12 dollars and 17 cents on it which i'm pretty happy with for that fast of a flip and um, they gave me four stars because they said it was shorter than they thought it was going to be, which they didn't ask for measurements. And I didn't put measurements on there for that. So it is what it is. They accepted it. And it went to this actually went to Hawaii, which I think is pretty fun. <laughs> A Hawaiian shirt that actually went to Hawaii. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I didn't really, the category thing I don't think matters, like, too, too much, because they said you can, in the onboarding, they said you can kind of, like, sell whatever you want, just kind of watch the people that sell that type of stuff to see how it's done, I don't know, I'm just going to kind of see how it goes. <laughs> Um, our next sale was this excision black white headbanger t-shirt size large. It sold full price for 25. Um, the reason is probably the back, which I won't say out loud, but, um, I have really good luck with these types of shirts and, um, someone actually had sent me an offer a couple days earlier for $10 and I had countered them and but i was not going to sell this shirt for that little because i knew it was going to sell and literally like two days later it sold full price for 25 so i was super happy with that i ended up making 19 dollars and 36 cents on this shirt and it sold really quickly in about two months so definitely anything like this that has this type of thing on the back or the front um, i usually do pick up
Yeah, I went to Hawaii, so that was pretty fun. Um, I think I did thrift and vintage clothing, I think is the one I was in. And yeah, I mean, obviously, if you put sports cards, I'll be a lot different than than that. And our next sale is next sale is Ann Taylor Loft Modern Highway Skinny Ankle Jeans, size 29, medium wash. These sold for 22. I got these free from a friend. So no cost to me. I ended up making $15.88 and they sold within a couple months of me listing them. I don't tend to pick these up like when I'm out thrifting, but sometimes they do well. It just, it's hit or miss with the different, um, you know, like this one's modern high skinny. It's with different types. And I feel like I never know which one's really going to do well or not, but they do actually have like a, a tag that says what it is in the jeans, which is nice. I like easy listing stuff like that. I know I'm sad you're going to LA before I'm going to LA, but I am going to the same place you're going to probably. I sent the Ann Taylor stuff I have that I get for free from a friend into ThreadUp and then I sell some stuff. Or I will list some stuff, and if it isn't moving, then I send it to thread up if I got it for free. <laughs> One of the two. These I picked up recently. You saw them in one of my Orlando hauls. They're Puma Black Knit Elastic Waistband Athletic Shorts with a drawstring waistband size large. They sold for $14. Um, I am making $8.61 on them, but they did sell within a couple weeks of me listing them. I had a feeling that they would go pretty quickly, which is why I picked them up, even though they weren't like anything super special. They're literally just like black athletic shorts, but they had the Puma on it. I don't know. Stuff like that seems to do pretty well <laughs> for what it is. Yeah, but you also get stuff returned to you. I just send it and then it dies <laughs> wherever it goes if they don't accept it. Because <laughs> I don't want to pay for returns. Uh, next one is actually an interesting one. I got this for free from a friend. It was a Shein floral tribal print, not front A-line. Maxi dress, size large, very boho vibes. Really cute dress, actually. And it sold for $18, which I was kind of surprised about, but I was happy with. And I ended up making $12.68. And then the other kicker was it sold two days after I listed it. So I am not mad at that Shein dress. <laughs> so I will, like, if I see any of these, like, really pretty maxi dresses, I will probably start picking those up. Um, maybe it has a following. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I do have, <laughs> I mean, it does, or it probably goes into one of your, one of your rescue boxes that you get, one of the two. <laughs> yeah, some can, and then some don't. <laughs> I've got some that, like, I've got a bunch of bikini bottoms right now that are kind of just sitting, but it is what it is. They don't weigh much. I get most of them at the bins. So, uh, Next, I sold these for a friend of mine on consignment. I actually picked these up for her at a thrift store because she was looking for jeans. And then they didn't fit. And so then she gave them back to me to sell and actually made her some money. So yay for me. Um, these were Levi's Perfect Waist 525 Straight Leg Light Blue Wash Jeans, size 10. They did actually have a stain on them. Uh, let me see. I have a picture somewhere of it. 
yeah so this whole area kind of on the front had like a little bit of discoloration still sold i think this was full price uh yeah this is full price for 28 dollars and i ended up making 12 dollars and 20 cents because i was sharing profit with her and these sold literally within one day of me listing them which i about i do not have good luck with levi's in general i actually don't pick it up very much because i have such bad luck with it but um i did sell these for her because they didn't fit her so it was a whole circle of life on that one <laughs> Uh, next is actually a sale from my, I think my latest um, thread up DIY scrap fabric box. And it was this H&M dark teal crop belted wide leg jumpsuit size six. It was really cute. These pictures, I don't know if it's coming through very well, but it is like an actual like dark teal color. Um, it actually sold for $20, which I was super happy about. With a shipping discount, I ended up making $11.78, and it sold quickly as well. It sold within three days. So on my birthday, I went thrifting with some friends. Janet was there and my friend Tiffany, and um, those videos will hopefully be coming out in the next week. And I, where was I going with this story? I totally forgot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I'm getting old, guys. It was my birthday. I turned 42, and now I can't remember anything. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, yeah, I don't remember where I was going with that story at all. Except that I have thrift hauls coming out soon. All right, yeah, I'm just going to, uh... <laughs> oh, now I remember. Oh, my gosh. I really, <laughs> it's been a week. So, anyway, Tiffany and I went and had Mexican food after we went thrifting, and we decided to make a pact, a blood oath. <laughs> and we're like, we're going to list five items a day starting today because we got stuff, and we, too much stuff probably. And um, I was like, fine, let's do it. And so I have been listing five items a day, except for one day when I was driving back from work on Friday night. Um, and I've been very consistent. And I honestly have been seeing more consistent sales. And I've been seeing the stuff that I'm pull that I'm listing selling, which means, you know, death pile equals money pile. So <laughs> moral of the story, be better. <laughs> I need to be better. <laughs> Oh, cool. So Janet was there and um, she's from Happy Hour Haulers. If you guys don't follow her, she's actually surpassed me in, <laughs> in subscribers with all her thread up boxes. And their thrift haul from that day is going up today at five. So definitely check that out. Check out their channel and subscribe. If you're not subscribed to me, subscribe to me too. <laughs> so anyway, that was the whole point was that Listing five items a day is good for you. <laughs> uh, this sold a Legend of Zelda Iconic Shield and Sword t-shirt, um, size extra large. It sold for $17. I ended up making $12.95. And it sold, it took at least six months. I did not have a date on when I actually listed it, so that's my bad. But it was really cool. The shield had like all sorts of different stuff in it from the game. So it was, it was a pretty neat t-shirt. They do love thread up hauls. Everyone loves a thread up haul. I would do more, except I'm not going to spend that much money. I can't. <clears throat> all right. These sold next. I actually had some kids stuff sell this week. So I'm pretty excited. Um, these Miss Me Girls bootcut jeans size 7 sold for $23. Um, I actually picked these up when I was with Janet in, where did we go? Winston-Salem. I think we were in Winston-Salem where I picked these up. 
And I ended up making $15.96 on them. And they sold within two months of listing them, which if you know, if uh, you remember that haul, it was a while ago. So uh, yeah, it took me a really long time to list those. <laughs> so again, list your items because they can't sell if they're not listed. But again, it had some flaws. So I was happy with 23. It was missing. Let me see pictures was missing one of the little grommet things on there and I want to say it was missing like a rhinestone somewhere too but they still sold and I was pretty happy with that oh my gosh was it Black Friday <laughs> and I listed it two months ago <laughs> in May <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's that's really bad. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh gosh. I think I've actually sold a, quite a few things from that day. So once I finally got them listed, obviously. I still have all the plush though. The plush hasn't sold. So remember I picked up those camels and stuff. Um, our next item is this bamboo traders tropical drink halter dress size 10 it was really cute it had all these embroidered alcoholic drinks all over it uh that's the tag for it uh it only sold for 14 dollars. it didn't do very well uh i think the comps weren't that great when i picked it up but i was like i can do better than that and no i didn't so it took a year to sell. I only made $10.22 on it, but it is gone. And I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm just glad it's gone. I thought it was really cute. <laughs> awesome. That'll be cool. And yeah, I know. It's crazy how that works out. <laughs> My pile, my death pile, I, I'm like literally sitting next to it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. There's some, there's some death pile over here on my bed. <laughs> not my bed, my, my extra bedroom bed. This is my guest room, guest room that no one can stay in, but um, it is getting lower. So we're working on it. And I actually have been listing stuff from my own closet. I know I've mentioned that a couple of times. I did a big clean out. I'm still in the process of listing all that stuff as well. <clears throat> uh, next is something else I got for free from a friend. It was this local design Hawaii backpack, tropical frond cinch top. It was just like one of those cute little backpacks. It's like canvas, but it was a local design made in Hawaii. It sold for $12. I ended up making $7.33 and it took about six months or so to sell. It's not something I would pick up probably, but I got it for free. So I did list it because it was look pretty new looking and um it did have like a little zipper front pouch to it that's it that's it for that <laughs> uh next is another kids item i actually think i had three kids this week uh or last week <clears throat> this bonnie jean multicolored check ruffle dress size six fully lined this is so cute i really thought this was gonna sell before easter but it did not i am happy it did finally sell though for 18 dollars, and that was on an offer uh in or was it full price it might have been full price because i did drop the price at one point um, so anyway, I made $13 and 59 cents on this dress and it took about six months to sell. So, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I definitely like Bonnie Jean as a brand. I think though it has to take a certain piece to sell. Well, I thought this one was going to sell a lot faster than it did, but at least it finally sold. <laughs> Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I actually bought number tags. I will, won't have them for Monday, but I will have them for Friday for my hangers. Monday is just, I've got like a little list thing going on. So we'll see. Uh, next is this Athleta Maroon 
fuchsia ruffle tiered flirt skirt size small has a drawstring waistband it was really cute i picked it up at my honey hole it did sell for 30 dollars on an offer and i am making 22 dollars and 84 cents on it and it took about six months to sell as well so i was happy to get a good offer finally because i've been getting a lot of low balls recently as many of you know hey pamela welcome we're just going through our sales we're mm, halfway ish done <laughs> Next sale was a by Felicia, this boohoo blue embroidered chambray dress, high low size four. So happy that this left. It did only sell for $10, but it took a year and a half to sell. I ended up making only $6.31, but I am just so happy that it's gone. I've actually been taking this dress to buy, sell, trade, and they haven't taken it either. So this is one I was definitely happy to get rid of. <clears throat> What can you make? What did I sell that you could make? <laughs> I am also a recovering craftaholic. Um, I have a lot of crafting stuff and I'm actually debating about doing a whatnot with that stuff as well. Cause I have a lot of jewelry making stuff that I need to get rid of and I don't want to just throw it out. Next, I sold this Zara metallic gray mini dress, wrap around, puff sleeve, tulip hem, size medium. I got this free from my sister-in-law, and I did take a lower offer on it. One, because I got it for free, and two, I've really started to ask myself, like, if this is still sitting around in two months, are you going to be mad you didn't take that offer? And so... I did accept a $15 offer on it and I ended up making $12. It did only take a couple months to sell. So I was happy with that fast flip at least. It was a really cute dress. It did have some loose threads, but other than that, um, it was in really good condition. Oh, the number tags. Yeah, I just, I don't have time. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've had a lot lately too. And some I've given into just to get rid of something and some counter and then they disappear. So it is what it is. Do I like whatnot? So I haven't sold anything yet on whatnot. My first live is going to be tomorrow night at 9 PM Eastern um, teas and tanks so that the shipping will be pretty cheap i think uh the weight i had to put weights in for everything which i think was like the worst part of the whole thing um but because i did weigh every single item yeah i did <laughs> and there's gonna be close to 80 items so <laughs> it's literally what i did yesterday i had like a whole thing set up um I have sourced a little bit on whatnot and for the most part i've liked most of the stuff i've gotten um, if you're interested, I can show you some of the stuff. It's actually like right over there, I think. Uh, and then I've won two giveaways and I will actually show you one of the giveaways because it's really nice. And I'm wearing one of my new shirts I bought on my birthday. It says, if you can read this, you're too close. <laughs> But this was actually something I got from, I think it's like Mimi's Mix is or Mim, something Mimi's. Um, and it is this really pretty cow leather fringe purse. And this retails for like $545. And I got it for free on a giveaway. And literally the only issue with it is, I don't know if you can see, like this scuffing right here on the inside of the strap. So yeah, 
and it's like this cool basket weave. It's a really cute purse. I just don't like these short purses. I like a crossbody, or I would probably keep it. But it's like in excellent condition. So, and the, oh, it's um, Elizabeth and James is the brand. So, I, I won this in like one of the first auctions I went into. Like I stayed for a while and, and like, look, it looks, it's like brand new on the inside too. Um, and it was literally like the last giveaway of the night and somehow I won it. And then I also won, which is downstairs. I won a small little cow from Clarissa thriving thrifters. So that's been fun. <laughs> So that, that's that's my whatnot spiel as of now. I will have a different one probably after I start doing the lives. So, yeah. So that is the biggest thing as well is shipping. So I, I think a lot of people don't have the mindset to calculate in their shipping costs. I, I might be wrong, but I feel like some people buy a bunch of stuff. They're like, oh, it's only a dollar or two dollars. But when you add in five to nine dollars shipping on top of that, technically you're spending six to ten dollars an item. Um, and for me, that cost of goods is not I can't do that for cost of goods. So like the night I won this, once you win a giveaway, you actually do get discounted shipping for the rest of the sale. And she did sell some more stuff. And so I did pick up, um, this over here. <clears throat> I might've hung it up already. Um, I did pick up one LuLaRoe piece that I thought would resell pretty well. Actually, I can show you cause I do have it listed already. But I did pick up one piece because then the shipping was cheap. So once you actually buy something, the shipping does go down. So depending on how much you buy, uh, it could be worth it if you can, like, average it out to make the shipping less or whatever, if that makes any sense. But um, let me share. This is what I ended up buying that night when I got the free purse. It's really pretty. It's a LuLaRoe Caroline open front cardigan, size medium. But this pattern is just gorgeous. It's got two front pockets. Um, a size medium is technically, well, what is a size medium? It's like a, you know, LuLaRoe has their little charts. So uh, it's usually uh, 10 to 12. So it was a pretty good size too. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I think I spent like six bucks on this total. If I remember correctly, I thought, you know, if it sells for $10, I make it back. So you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Could have been a mistake, but I thought it was really pretty. And yeah, I do sometimes wait to see if there's multiple likers with an offer just to see if someone else will buy it. Hi, Jabby's Treasures. Welcome to this craziness. Um, I'm catching up on the chat real quick. Minimum is right under $4. Uh, yeah, I haven't found anything for myself personally yet. There was a shirt actually was it yesterday that I was really interested in, but it wasn't my size. So then I got really sad, but <laughs> all right, back to what's sold. Uh, next are these J Jill green khaki shorts, size 12. They sold for $20 and I am making $13 and 64 cents. They sold within two months. So definitely a good pickup. I did have a lot of likes on those uh, before they sold. So happy with that one. Yes, we all appreciate the support. 
This was something I picked up just recently in Orlando, basic editions. Evil shouldn't look this good. White t-shirt, size small, sold very quickly uh, for $12. It sold two days after I listed it. And it's I ended up making $8.33 on that. So pretty good turnaround for a t-shirt, if I do say so myself. <laughs> it was really cute. It was very basic, but I had said evil shouldn't look this good, and I liked it, so I picked it up. I liked it. I want it. I bought it. <laughs> I'm just like Ariana Grande. <laughs> Not really. Uh, next, uh, this is kind of a bad sale, but this is an accepted offer that I didn't really want to accept, but it was Ann Taylor Loft Red Geometric print design tankini halter top, size extra large, sold for $10. I ended up making $6.61. I'd had it at least over six months. So, <coughs> excuse me. It was another one that I was like, yeah, you just need to accept it and move on with your life. So I did, but there were some other likers. This is the one I actually waited about a couple hours before I accepted it just to see if it sold to someone else. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, you had some interesting shirts in your box there, Jennifer. Uh, that uterus one, I still, I still don't completely understand. <laughs> but... Next was this Waco Black Lace Floral Bra, size 34D. Uh, it sold full price for 18 I actually picked this up in Wisconsin last year. If you remember that haul, it was so long ago. Um, so it took one a year and two months to sell. But I ended up making $13.75 on it. And it was another one I was really happy to get rid of. It did have actually quite a lot of like attention. I relisted it a bunch of times, but someone finally bought it. Someone finally took the plunge. <clears throat> they were pretty epic. They were pretty epic t-shirts. You got an interesting box. I am debating about getting that box now. I was going to get a shoe box, but I still have to spend like $60 to get a shoe box. So I may just do the t-shirt box because it'll only be like 11 I don't know. I'm still debating in my head. Uh, next sale was this Offline by Airy oversized white cream t-shirt, heart eyes for French fries, size small, really cute shirt I picked up in my honey hole, and it did sell for 19 which I think was full price, and I ended up making $15.10 on it, and it took about four months to sell. I will say this was actually a t-shirt that I was going to be in my sale tomorrow, but it sold, <laughs> so like a couple days ago. So it is no longer going to be in my sale. <laughs> it was, I think, um, I think it was on my auction I did on this channel, though, and no one bought it. So I never see a fun box available at this point. I don't. I'm always working when they come out. So <clears throat> next sale were these Dolce Vita Andreas crisscross navy blue flat sandals, size nine. Um, so these are Dolce Vita, like the real Dolce Vita, not the DV or the whatever brand that does that. So these are the higher end ones. Um, and they did sell for $38. Uh I don't know if it was on an offer or that was what I had them priced at. I can't remember. But they did take five to six months to sell. But I did make $29.67 on them. So definitely something I would probably pick up again. They were really pretty. And they looked almost brand new. Like they still had a sticker on the bottom and everything. So. Which was helpful for having the, the type it was. The style name or whatever you call it. <laughs> Ah, I lost everyone. There you go. Uh, let's see. Next was another kid sale. It was this really cute Marvel superhero Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Captain America hoodie, size five. Uh, it sold for ten dollars on an offer or counter offer. I can't remember. 
I, it was another one where I was like, I just need to accept it and move on. I made $6.40, which is pretty good on a kid's item. And it sold within three months of me listing it. It's another item I had picked up in Orlando while I was there. I did a really good job with that haul. <laughs> just going to give myself a little toot toot on that one. <laughs> it was really cute. It had like an all over print. And then it had like these patches on the one chest area. So great sale. Happy with it. All right, now we're coming to like my goods, good sales. I'm really excited about a couple of these. This is the first one. And y'all know if you saw my designer tie haul, I sold my first one. It was on an offer, but I will take it. So the first to sell was the Charvet Place Vendome Reflective Blue with Red Embroidered Design Silk Tie. So I had this listed, I think, for 75 which I knew was a little bit high. I had had a bunch of um, people like it, and I sent out a 10% off with discounted shipping. And then someone 35 and I said, absolutely, because literally this tie just paid for the entire haul. Plus, I already have a profit. And I've already sold some other stuff from the haul. So I am super in the green right now on this haul, and I'm very excited about it. It was really pretty, had like this reflective, it was like blue and red, but then in certain lights, it looked almost purple. So anyway, it sold for $45. I ended up making $35.40 on this tie. I would definitely keep an eye out for Charvet as a brand. And it sold within approximately a month of me listing it. If you look at the comps, they're kind of here and there, but there are certain ones that are really sought after. I don't know if it's the print, the coloring. I don't know what exactly it is, but I will take $45 for a tie that weighs nothing. This is a bin stick. <laughs> and let's see. Next is, oh gosh, this is another one I was super happy to finally get rid of. It's a vintage speculation pink mom cat sweatshirt, size medium. Had these cute little cats and floral design on the front. The only issue was, um, oh, where is it? Oh, there. Uh, someone had written on like the inside of the collar and on the tag, but it didn't go through to the outside, so you didn't see it if you're wearing it. Finally sold for $17. I made $11.08 on it, but it took a year and four months to sell. So I was very happy for that to go away. <laughs> Got two more sales. One from yesterday, one from this morning. The one from yesterday is my best sale of the week, two weeks of probably this year. Well, close to probably this year, honestly. Um, this was something in my first Goodwill, or not Goodwill, uh, Thread Up DIY scrap fabric box. Something I never knew about. The brand is Sophia, made in Italy. It's the Tory Bell Sleeve Dress. And it sold for $80 on an offer, on a counter offer. So I had this listed, I think, for $120, $140 because one had sold for that much. It was a different color. Um, this is really pretty, very boho. This is the tag and definitely a good brand to know. I found out really cute dress, fun little sleeves. So someone sent me a message yesterday and it says, does it have pockets? And then I was like, I almost was like, I don't think so. Cause usually if it has pockets, I'll like do a picture with my hand in it. <laughs> Like, that's my go-to to show you it has pockets. And I didn't have that picture. So I was like, oh, let me pull out the dress real quick because it was a higher price item. And lo and behold, it has pockets. And she and I sent her, a, I think, 20% off offer, which is like $96 with discounted shipping. And she came back at 80 And I said, absolutely, you can have it for 80 I made $61.83 on this dress, and it took six months to sell. And I don't even care. I would pick it up again and wait six months for that. But I'm very excited about that dress <laughs> selling. 
<laughs> it has pockets. <laughs> so that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, I mean, people love pockets, I guess, like that much. So I was just, I was like, $80 for a dress? Heck yeah. <laughs> I don't sell a lot of stuff that's higher dollars. So I get very excited when like higher dollar stuff sells. And then I did accept this offer this morning because I'm hoping it'll stimulate some more sales today. But I sold this vintage Disney 101 Dalmatians tabletop picture frame that's ceramic. It is, I I'm pretty sure it is vintage. It's um, the bottom has Disney Japan on it. So a lot of those pieces can be vintage, but it was in really good condition. Just had the one puppy on it. And um, yeah, so I, I think I sent out an offer and they countered at 15. And I said, sure. I just hoping that today maybe I'll get some more sales because of it. So I ended up making $11.25 on it. And it took about one to two months to sell. So not a horrible turnaround for, for that, but it's like one of those things where like, I hope that I get more sales because I sold that. <laughs> and that is, that is our sales for the last two weeks. It actually wasn't horrible. I mean, but I had started doing my, like I said, I had started doing my little um, five a day. So I do think that is helping as much as I hate it. I do think that that is helping. So we'll see how the rest of this week goes with my other sales. And, uh, whatnot. And I have to keep up with, with Poshmark on top of that. Luckily I am only working one day this week, but I do have like other things going on got a dentist appointment tomorrow i'm going to the bins with my friend tiffany um before she moves to the other side of the state so i'm sad about that but yeah i hope hope you guys enjoyed that little trip down my oh my gosh it's almost been an hour <laughs> i've been chatting too much today i uh like i said so remember tomorrow night on whatnot 9 p.m. Eastern will be my first Tease and Tank show. Um, you can definitely, if you're on Whatnot, take a look at my store. I I have a few more things to add, but pretty much everything is up there already. And I've got two giveaways for tomorrow night as well. They're really pretty. Actually, I can show them to you. They're going to be in a, in a thrift haul coming up. But um, they're these really cute boho coasters. They're like beaded little like sunbursts almost. They come in sets of two. So I've got four sets total, but I'm giving away two tomorrow night. I'm giving away those ones and then these ones. They're like a green, but they're like little, you can't even see it. Uh, like they're beaded and then the back is like this satiny material. I don't know. I thought they were really cute. I found them at my honey hole. And so I thought they would be fun little giveaways and they're pretty light. <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Thank you for coming to my live. Thank you for watching if you're watching on replay. And I've got some thrift hauls I need to get. My birthday thrift haul will be a two part. Hey, what's up? Buying spaces. I'm blanking on your name. Mar I'm blanking on your name right this minute. <laughs> I'm having like, I just need to go back to bed. Like caffeine is not helping. Like <laughs> I need to go back to bed. <laughs> but anyway, uh, there will be my birthday thrift haul. There will be two of them, part one and part two, because, you know, I got to have a kid's part. So I do need to go to buy, sell, trade this week as well. I need to make a list of what I need to do or I'm just going to forget everything. Um, 
And then in two weeks time again, we'll have a what sold video, hopefully some good stuff and probably an update for whatnot because there'll be two weeks uh, of me selling on there. So we'll see how it goes. And <laughs> uh, as per usual, remember to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. I'll see you next time. I'll see you on whatnot. I'll see you on Instagram all over the place. Have a great rest of your weekend, guys. Bye.